Good evening, ladies and gents. A uh, little little video just before I go to work. Um, I'm on 7-Eleven tonight, so a shop called 7-Eleven, isn't it, in America? But yeah, I'm on 7-Eleven tonight, so I get leave to go to work at about half past six. It's six o'clock now, and I'll leave about yeah half past six. Get in about quarter to seven. Go and check my paperwork, see where I'm going tonight. If there's any difficult ones that I'm not quite sure of where I'm going. I try and look them up. Obviously, it's getting dark down in Cornwall. It's the, you know, you get out if you're going out in the sticks, it is pitch black. There's no street lights in a lot of places, so you have to sort of find out where you're going first of all. Um, I might not be able to do a blog. I might be able to do a blog if I can. I will do while I'm out and about. But obviously, now it's getting darker in the evening. It's it's a lot lot more difficult to do. But um, yeah, if anyone's got any questions, I've had a couple of people ask me questions about the job quite happy to answer them you know uh, i'm not going to sort of say which company is better than any other company i can only tell you what i've done i worked for morrison's for about six months and i've been working for tesco's for just over a year um, both are very similar in the way they are and the reason i left people ask me why i left morrison's the reason i left morrison's is their their site's 10 miles away from me um, tesco's is about five minutes in the car 10 minutes on my push bike if I bike to work. So yeah, it's uh, it's a lot closer and it's a simple reason of economics really. Uh, and also it's a, it's a little bit more little bit more money working for Tesco's than working for Morrison's, but hardly anything to make a difference really. But feel free to ask me questions about the job. You know, quite a number of deliveries I make in an evening, what I do. Um, obviously I can't go into personal do so I had a couple of things about training what sort of training you have to do um, normally the managers are pretty good so when you first start you're given as much time as you need really you know what I mean I've not, I've not had no issues I sort of I've been driving for most of my life so it's, it's not really an issue from I've, I was driving HGVs years ago I don't drive lorries now I just you know, drive vans well up to seven and a half ton so um, yeah, I've, I've sort of been driving most of my work in life, really. So feel free to ask me questions if you want. What sort of training you get is pretty good. Uh, you have a driving on road driving assessment, and then you go buddy up with another experienced driver, go out and do the, do the deliveries. So that's it, really. Friday night, nights are drawing in. It's getting darker. So yeah. Also, one other couple other things people have asked about have any problems. Not really. Um, I've had one little incident, and I had to park. There's an un park. One of the towns we deliver to, we have to go into an unloading bay. Basically, you take your food out, and I was wheeling some barrels, a barrel of my food down the road, and some lads come out of the pub, and I there was banter more than anything. They they were trying to get some. They saw I got some a trolley full of wine. Basically, I think they were after a few bottles for free, but yeah. Nah, just polite, carried on. They, they were alright, they are fine, no problem at all. I've had a few incidents with drivers, but then that's driving driving in the UK today. I wouldn't say it's that enjoyable compared to um, anywhere else. I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. I enjoy driving, so I don't mind, but you just got to get bite your lip. I'm a lot calmer than I ever used to be. I try not to get too angry with but some of, the, some of the people who drive on the road, in my view, should not be on the road. Uh, basically, I, I don't know, I think they're on a different planet when they get in the car. They, a lot of them don't look further up the road. When I was, I've done, I've done varying training courses and up to advanced level driver, and I was always taught to look as far down the road as possible. Not just, look, but I find most car drivers tend, if, and they only tend to look as far as the end of their bonnet. They don't look any further down the road. If you see the hazards at the, down the road, you can spot hazards two, three hundred, four hundred meters in front of you, and you can take action and be prepared for that. And a lot of people don't realise that. Um, yeah, you know, if, if I was younger, I'd I'd even do some advanced driving for, for young people when they start driving because the driving test is pretty simple, really, and they. I don't feel the driving instructors go into much much detail about looking the, the rules of the road and how to work, you know, how to drive and drive. You don't have to go that fast to keep going and keep moving forward. You don't have to um, do too much. Just look, look as far as you can down the road. Treat 
the, the vehicle you're in with respect. Treat other you road users with respect. I know it's difficult, but here we're going off on a, I'm going off on a tangent now. I could talk all night about driving standards in the UK and how people drive. I'm sure it's, it, well, it's a drive in London, so I know what it's like in the cities. I've, I've driven in Manchester, all over the UK. And I now live in rural Cornwall and driving in the countryside can be just as bad. People down here, they tend to drive, a lot of them drive with the headlights on full beam. Don't dip them for some reason, I don't know why, especially at night. Um, they go, a lot of them go far too fast down the, down the little lanes. So you know, and a lot of it's local, so it's not, it's not just tourists. So, you know, don't blame tourists for everything, because it's not the tourists, it's often the locals who drive poorly. But that's another thing, I won't go on too much about. I'm not going to get into the tourists and the uh, local thing. So, yeah, if I can do a little blog tonight, I will do. But if not, enjoy the evening, it's Friday, um, weekend's here. No, no FPL, I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I've had a little incident on my motorbike, but didn't, no, no one was hurt, no one got harmed. Breakdown, just a breakdown. But we'll talk to talk about that another day. Bye bye. Have a safe time.